Okay, so let's look at this. <clears throat> so I show you here, let's look at the first part first. This is the parent component, this box up here. The one below is the child component. So for example, it could be the app component. This is the about component, right? Something like that. Now in the parent component, I put here, we have the source, which is the .ts file, right? The source, which is the controller, and the template, which is the HTML for the view. Okay, so in the source, we have a property. Remember, every data variable you create in the class is always called a property uh, or a field that has a, a variable name called parent points equals 1500. Okay, and then in the template, we have a tag called the child, right? Would be like app dash child, app dash about, okay? And then that tag, you treat that tag like an HTML tag. And then you bind to that tag, you bind to a, um, a property called child underscore points. Now, this is a variable inside the child component. So down here, you bind to a variable in the child component, TS file, and you assign that variable a value from the parent property. Okay, so 1500 will be passed to this local variable in the child component called child points. And you see it flows down here to the child tag. It will look for the child component, and the name of the component inside the source. Okay, the source, you're going to create a child, had to be the exactly same name, right? Name, you assign that to zero initially, of course. And then you have to decorate this variable with the at input function, okay? Similarly, how you would do with the add app, you know, add ng module, add component. Same idea, you decorate this variable with the input. Now you see that here I put in front of the, of the variable child input. You could put this on the, above it. So it will look kind of similar to uh, the code like down here, right? This is above the class. I showed you before that this could be, you know, next to it, right? This could be over here like this on a single line. It, it just that it's just easier to read. That's why you do it this way, but show you that it looks just like that, right? And then like that. Okay. This is the decorator. This is the class. So when you create a, um, a component, a variable, you create it with input. That means it's coming from the parent, okay? It's inputting, it's receiving input from another component. It does not know its parent. It doesn't care where it's coming from. Okay, as long as somebody, right, another component, sends its data to this child component, it will receive it here and then because you, you would treat it like a, another regular input and then on its template, you can use that just like a regular property, like point, right? So you display here on the child component. And this is how you pass data from the parent component down to a child component. There are a couple of ways as well, but this is one of the ways, all right? So refer to this diagram here and follow this uh, and study this diagram so you understand what's going on. I try to put as, you know, best I could here to clarify this thing in color as well. If you don't have a variable insight here in the, child, in the child component called child points, it will not work. It's gonna say this property does not exist, okay? And how does it know it needs to go to this one here? Well, because of this tag here, this tag is the child component. So you will find a component called child component and, and use that. So that's why all your tags, all your component must be unique. Okay, you cannot have duplicates. You shouldn't have duplicates. So this is from child to uh, um, parent to child, the flow of arrows. 